Hello and welcome to Lionsgate Hospital. LGH provides a broad range of care and services for children and their families on the North Shore and throughout British Columbia. This video will give you an idea of what to expect when you come to Lionsgate Hospital for your operation. It's normal to feel anxious and a little bit scared, and we hope this video will answer any questions you may have. We'll show you what to expect on the day of your operation and give you some helpful hints to guide you and your family during your visit with us. This video is intended to supplement the information presented by your doctor. For any additional information you may require, please contact your surgical doctor's office directly. We hope you find this video helpful and informative. From all of us here at Lionsgate Hospital, welcome. Prior to your surgery, the surgical doctor's office would telephone your parents and tell them the time and date of your operation and when you'll need to come to the hospital. You need to have an empty stomach before your operation. This means you cannot eat or drink anything after you go to bed the night before your operation. On the day of your operation, you cannot eat breakfast when you wake up, not even water, gum, or candy. Your tummy may feel very hungry, but it is important that you don't put anything in it. Have a good sleep, and when you wake up, remember, no breakfast. When it's time to go to the hospital, make sure that you bring your favorite teddy or blanket to keep you company. Also, you should bring a pair of slippers. We don't want your feet to get cold. Remember to wash your hands when you're at the hospital. Depending on the kind of operation you'll be having, you will check in at either the main admitting desk or the pediatric floor. The surgical doctor's office will tell you which one to go to. The pediatric ward is located on the third floor in the south tower of the hospital. From the main lobby, follow the hallway to the elevators located in the south tower. Take the elevator to the third floor and follow the signs to the pediatric unit three east. Enter through the double doors and see the nurse at the front desk. Sage is here today for her operation. Let's follow her during her visit to Lionsgate Hospital. Hi Sage, welcome to Lionsgate Hospital. I see you've brought a little friend with you. What's his name? This is Teddy. Bringing Teddy is a good idea. Did you remember to bring your slippers too? Yes, I did. I'm feeling a little nervous. I've never had an operation before. It's okay to feel nervous. But remember, everyone is here to help you. Many children feel nervous when they come to the hospital, but most of them will feel more comfortable when they know what they might feel, see, or hear during their hospital stay. So why don't you and your dad come with me and we'll start to get you ready. The nurse will take Sage to her room while she will have her pre-operative assessment. And I have a bracelet for you and one for Teddy too. So these bracelets have very important information for the nurses and doctors. So it's very important that you put them on while you're at the hospital. The nurse will ask questions about your health. This is a good time to ask any questions that you or your parent may have. You'll be given a hospital gown to change into. You can leave your underwear on. Next, a nurse will come check you. The first thing they will do is see how much you weigh. The nurse will ask you to step onto a scale. Then, the nurse will take your temperature, listen to your heart with a stethoscope, and take your blood pressure. The blood pressure cuff will feel tight around your arm, just like a big hug, but it's just for a short time. Next, the nurse will measure the oxygen levels in your body by placing a lighted clip on your finger. It's called the oximeter. It doesn't hurt, and you'll have to wear it during your surgery in the operating room. Okay, Sage, now I'm gonna put this special numbing cream on the back of your hands. It's gonna feel very cold. And then I'm gonna put this clear bandage over top so it doesn't rub off. This cream is called Amatop. Anesthesiologists use it as they put in your intravenous. The intravenous is a little straw that goes into your hand that doctors use to put medicine into your body. This cream's gonna make it feel just like a little push. After the nurses have finished your checkup, you've got some free time. You can read or use your personal electronic devices to listen to music or play video games. Hello Sage, it's time for you and your dad to go down to the ambulatory care waiting area. So why don't you put on your slippers and don't forget to bring Teddy with you. If you are checked in on the third floor, you will take the elevator down to the second floor and go through the doors to a special waiting room called the ambulatory care waiting area. If you checked in at the daycare area, you can stay right where you are. In both waiting areas, an anesthesiologist and operating room nurse will come to visit you and your parent before you go to the operating room. An anesthesiologist is a doctor who will give you anesthesia. 
Anesthesia is sometimes called sleepy medicine because it makes your body go into a deep sleep for your operation. This is why sometimes the anesthesiologist is called the sleepy doctor. Hi Sage, I'm going to be your anesthesiologist today. Who do we have here? This is Teddy. Hi Teddy. So I'm here to talk to you about what's going to happen when you go into the operating room. I feel a bit scared. That's okay. Most people are a little bit nervous. We're all here to help you. So when you come into the operating room, we're going to put a little straw in your hand there. We use that to give you the medicine to go off to sleep. Sometimes it pinches a little bit when it's going in, but it shouldn't hurt because you have the numbing cream on. Once we have that in, we'll wrap it up and then we'll let you pick a sticker to put on top of it. I'm going to give you some oxygen to breathe. It's through a mask. Sometimes the mask smells a little funny and you feel some air blowing around your mouth and your nose. We just like you to have lots of oxygen as you're going off to sleep. And then I use the little straw to give you the sleepy medicine so you're asleep for your surgery. The anesthesiologist will ask you questions such as, do you have any loose teeth? And are you allergic to any medications? They will also make sure you haven't had anything to eat or drink. They will ask you if you ever have trouble breathing or if you ever have problems with your heart. They will also make a decision whether your parent will be allowed in the operating room with you or not. For safety reasons, parents aren't always allowed in the operating room with their children. All right, I think we're ready. I'll see you in there shortly. So hi Sage, I'm Jessica. I'm going to be one of the nurses in the OR with you today. Now we are ready to go and there's a screen in there where you can watch something before you go to sleep. What would you like to watch? Cartoon, please. That sounds great. So yeah, we're ready. Why don't we go this way? Follow me. The nurse will help you put on your surgical hat. If your parent's coming with you, they will also need to put on special clothes. These clothes help to stop the spread of germs. Everything in the operating room is kept very clean. The operating room is where you'll be having your operation. In the room, you'll find the doctor will be doing your operation, nurses, and the anesthesiologist. Everyone will be wearing special clothes and hats. The operating room has lots of equipment, lights, and a skinny bed. Not all the equipment you see in the room will be used for your surgery. The machines might be making beeping noises. That's okay. Those are the sounds of an operating room. The room might also be a little cold, but we have lots of blankets to cover you up. I'm gonna put this blood pressure cuff on your arm, okay? And then this little lighted clip measures your oxygen while you're sleeping. These stickers that go on your, uh, your chest and on your stomach. And these all just help us take care of you while you're sleeping, okay? Okay, Sage, I'm just gonna put that straw in your hand now. The little straws in. How was that? That wasn't so bad. Okay, Sage, I'm going to give you the oxygen now. Okay, and now I'm going to give you the sleeping medicine. Have a good sleep, Sage. We'll see you when you wake up. When you are asleep, we'll take your parent back to the waiting area, or they will go back to your room on the third floor, while they will wait to see you and hear from the surgeon when your operation is over. After the operation is finished, you'll be taken to a special room called a recovery room, where a nurse helps as you wake up from your operation. Once you're a little bit awake, you'll go back to your room. You'll probably not even remember the recovery room. Once you're back in your room, the nurses will make sure you're comfortable. They'll be checking on you many times, taking your temperature, and measuring your heart rate and blood pressure. You'll still have the straw in your hand, which is used to make sure your body has enough fluids. It will also give you medicine if you feel funny or have any pain. The nurse will also give you medicine to drink. Remember, always tell the nurse if you feel funny or have any pain. You will have time to watch TV or play quietly in your bed. If you feel sleepy, it's okay to take a nap. Your job is to drink water and eat popsicles because this will make your throat feel better. Once you're feeling wide awake and feeling better, you can go home. Some children stay the night at the hospital. If you do, your parent can stay in the room with you. When you're ready to go home, the nurse will remove the IV from your hand. The tape will feel like a sticky band-aid coming off, but you won't feel the straw coming out. The nurse will answer any questions you and your parents might have about caring for you after you leave the hospital. For any additional information, please contact your surgical doctor's office directly. Well, Sage, everything looks good. How do you feel? Are you ready to go home? I feel pretty good. What about you, Teddy? Are you ready to go home? I think he's ready to go home. 
It wasn't scary after all. Everyone here is really nice. Now that you're returning home, it's important to rest, drink plenty of fluids, and follow the instructions the doctors and the nurses gave you. We hope you found this video useful in answering questions about what to expect when you come in for your operation at Lionsgate Hospital. From everyone at LGH, thank you for watching.